So now we get to hook up the parking brake. Oh yeah. Now the parking brake is actually going to go right in between the two seats, right next to the shifter. And it actually works pretty much the same way the hydraulic brakes work. It just uh, does it manually by hand instead of using your foot. Oh, and by the way, look at this. My dumb cat just pooped in my garage and uh, he was too lazy to cover it up. Isn't he like supposed to roll that in kitty litter or something? Look at him, he's like, eh, I'm too lazy to, I got stuff to do. I'm just gonna roll it in kitty litter tomorrow. I just thought let it stink for now. Good night. So it's probably gonna be the easiest to start with the back of the parking brake. So go ahead and grab the back, looks like this. And now the first thing you want to do is put this little nub where it connects to the brake. Now of course this brake is the one that's on the passenger side rear of the go-kart. And you can tell where you want to slide it because there's a little slit. Now on yours it may be on the back end, but mine it's on the outside end so it's easy to find. Now go ahead and slide that towards the front. Now you can see it can move around and it's not going to fall out. Now what you want to do now is slide the cable through this other slit. Now this slit right here is where you're going to make all your adjustments and what you want to do is there are two bolts that come on your parking brake. One of them you want to make sure is on one side, one of them you want to make sure is on the other side. This is the main one you do the adjusting with. So again like I said, slide that cable through and now feed that bolt through. Now later on when we fine tune everything we're going to get this adjusted perfectly but for now just go ahead and slide it all the way to the top. Now the reason you do this is because we didn't put the other side of the parking brake on the handle side that goes in between the seats. So in order to make sure we have enough cable, we want to get this as loose as possible before we make any adjustments just for installation purposes. Now the point of this nut is just to keep everything tight. So go ahead and tighten that up and now check it out, it's good to go. So you see how this is loose right here, I'm just going to show you guys how to adjust this right now while I'm here. If this was loose and if the handle was already installed, then what you would do is you would unscrew this a little bit, tighten this one up a little bit until this gets a little bit tighter. So that's how you adjust it, but for now, I'm just going to loosen it back up, not worry about it because we got the parking brake or the handle side to take care of now. Now to install the handle section of your parking brake, go ahead and bolt it in with the two bolts that you got with your parking brake. One goes in the front and one goes in the back. All right, now that the handle is securely bracketed on your frame, what you want to do now is loosen all of the adjustment bolts as loose as you can get them. This is just so we make sure that everything gets into place before we start tightening things. So now take the cable and loop it around this little loop. And for this bolt right here, what you need to do is, again, just like the back, make sure you have one nut on one side, stick your bolt through, there we go, and then you can tighten that nut up. If I can freaking get it on the bolt, there we go, just like that. Now is where you make all your adjustments. So make your adjustments, and you usually want to use wrenches for these, but I'm just tightening them by hand for demonstration. Go ahead and adjust this one first, and then go ahead and adjust this one. And once you have your back one adjusted, this is good to go. You can now use this parking brake, pull it up, and you'll know that it's tight enough because when it's fully tight, You'll see in the back that that's when it hits the very end and you'll be able to feel the tension on it. But anyways, that's how you install a parking brake. So in the next tutorial, what are we going to do? I think we're going to install the tire. So sounds pretty cool. I'll see you then.